Hi folks, it's time for Noonday Prayer again with Fred and Mary. On a Friday. On a Friday. And here we are on a gloomy day. Uh, we've had plenty of rain, but hasn't dampened our spirits. Uh, we have our son and daughter-in-law, granddaughter here. And so we've had a good week. Had a I hope great you week. had. And so with that, we are doing uh, Psalm 40, and um, we shall begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. In Psalm 40, uh, by whole verse. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that have that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can compa be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell of them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is deep in my heart. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. And our reading today comes from Luke 18, 9 through 14. He also told his parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like the other people thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to the heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified, rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Jesus also uh, told this parable to some who trusted in themselves for their righteousness. Their faith was in their own uh, ability to abide by the letter of the law and it is a quite a parallel with the prodigal son hmm. the parable of the prodigal son when it comes to that it's interesting to hold these uh, two up to one another and uh, compare um, this the older brother you know and the mm -hmm. prodigal son is is another figure of this Pharisee. He's judging the younger brother when he does come home. Uh, and holding young, himself higher. Holding himself higher. Well, I've, what's he say? I've always been 
pure and faithful and you never even offered um, a party for me and my friends. Mm -hmm. And here this rogue like the tax collector comes home and just says, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And now he gets a banquet. Well, I think that is, well, I know that is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ that we in, uh, speak of in the beginning of Luke, the good news of the gospel, the Elon Gerion, the Greek. The good news that it's not our accomplishments and achievements that are going to uh, hold us in good stead, make us righteous, that is, in, in right relationship with God. It's grace, uh, the grace that the um, um, that the Father had to receive the one who trusted and put his faith in the Father and turned around or this uh, tax collector who, if you remember, that's who Jesus uh, had dinner with and mm -hmm. so forth. That's who Jesus came to, uh, to be with, uh, receives grace. There, you know, so much of a tension between law and grace and so many folks, I can remember folks telling me, I don't come to, I'll, I'll clean up a little bit and then I'll come to church. I'm, I'm not ready uh, to come to church. I'm a sinner. Well, uh, it's the church of saints and sinners. <laughs> and, uh, there's a reason for that. There's a, yeah, there's a reason for that. The Pharisee and the older <clears throat> brother, uh, they're proud of everything they've done right. And, and then they compare themselves to, to the other. And so we always get get ourselves wound around the axle. We get in trouble when we compare ourselves uh, to someone else when God gave us the, the role model in the life of Jesus on earth as what to compare. If you're going to compare, compare to the life of Jesus uh, and not use the law uh, to beat someone else down, to be you know, holier than thou, or a, a judge of other people. I like where um, Psalm 40, in verse 9, it said, In the roll of the book is written concerning me, I love to do your will, O God. Your law is deep within my heart. It's not on my sleeve. It's not a, a placard that I carry around. It's not... Uh, a bludgeon that I beat down mm. another person with. Uh, it's not an ends, but a means. Uh, and it's the law is written on my heart, not in front of me as a, a, a script for comparing, of comparison. Right. Look at me. It's exactly what the Pharisee says. Oh, I'm glad I'm not like that other fellow. Yep. So both of those are just great reminders of the tension between law and grace. And remember that the final resolution of that tension comes in, in uh, which commandment is the greatest in Matthew Jesus, uh, the disciples asked Jesus, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to them, You shall love the God, the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like unto it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophet. And so the second is like unto it. It's the conduit to God's grace mm -hmm. and uh, thank God we don't get what we deserve we got uh, what God gives us so this is the foundation for you hear me say so many times one of my favorite things to say is 
Oh, God doesn't love you because you're good. God loves you because God is good. And this is the foundation for why I boast that claim so <laughs> often. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I think one of the things that comes to mind, and I've said this often, is that um, it's a while ago, but our younger son, when he was in high school, was exploring his faith and wasn't sure, and he started going to another church with a friend. And he came back one Sunday, and you know, we were talking, and how did it go? He says, you know, Mom, I kind of like our church because there is, uh, they're not telling me what I've done bad all the time. Uh, they're telling me that, yeah, maybe I did something bad, but by the grace of God, it's going to be okay. He's going to forgive me. And this is coming out of a high school kid. And so somewhere along the line, we did something right. EYC did something right. <laughs> I don't know, but it was, uh, it was a faith moment for me, for sure. Uh, but there have been a lot of little um, scenarios like that. Times when it's kind of like, yeah. I get it. My kids get it. This is good. Grace. And grace to you. Well, let's continue with our prayers. All right. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give us the peace and the unity of, the heavenly, of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. And let's gather our own prayers, petitions, celebrations <clears throat> uh, together, silently or aloud. You're welcome to write comments into Facebook so that we can join you in in prayer, we continue to hold up Dick Bolin, uh, Delia, Martha Gentry, and George Weeks, Judy and Denny Coors, Pam, Bill, Nancy, Daniel, Kathy, Rob, Betty, Joe, Kevin, Genevieve, Kurt, John, Shannon, Emily, and Kim, Ruth. Rick and Robert, Cindy, Carvel, Jessica, Stan, Hope, Brian, Meredith, Julius, Howard, Pam, Ruth Ann, Donna, Frank, Kelly, Gabe, and Geo, Alan and Carol, for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world, for peace in our nation and in the world, for medical and emergency personnel, first responders everywhere, and continuing prayer for solutions in the distribution of COVID vaccines. And particularly now we pray for our disadvantaged uh, neighbors of, uh, in the world. Our eyes move from our own needs to those more needy than us as we actually export Mm -hmm. uh, vaccinations to, to India. Right, and other places. And we pray for uh, Israel and the state of tension. Deployed and, and personnel everywhere, including those in our parish. 
And with that, I think we have... Celebrations. Celebrations. Always a good thing. Uh, birthdays today, Jane Kiefer, Maureen Laughlin, and Le Leah Moore. And Tamar celebrating birthdays, Alex Sess and Caleb Downing. Well, happy birthday happy to birthday, you Happy birthday, everyone. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and a joyful year to come. Blessings to you. And anniversaries, we have them actually. Um, we have today, Rose and Bill Macquarie. And tomorrow, Dave, David and Mary Scott Burt. Yeah, happy so, anniversary. Happy anniversaries. Blessings to you and for your year to come. And uh, there's also another little anniversary mm -hmm. that we may want to celebrate. And that is 16 years ago, this guy was ordained. We'll look forward to seeing folks Sunday. Lord knows what the rain's going to be by Sunday. It's supposed to start drying up, but uh, hopefully everything will be dried enough so that we can meet out in the garden and uh, be with everyone once again. As lovely as being in church is, it's nice to be out in God's world. Well, it's sure good to be with the folks at Old Donation on Truly. Sunday morning. Makes well, it special. With that, let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. See you soon. Stay dry. <laughs>